Atkins, your weather authority. Take you to the south here. This is uh, our physical therapy cam from the studios here. Now, this is uh, up in Waterford. Cool shot of the AT&T tower just before 19 goes down into Waterford. You can still see a few puffy cumulus clouds to the south. So the day started out uh, on the muggy and cool and wet side, but things have been improving just in time for the weekend. So if you're headed the opposite direction, like up to the lake tomorrow, you've got a beautiful day with waves 1 to 3 feet, south to southwest winds 10 to 15, and a water temperature off waterworks at 73. Weekend at a glance, near 80 tomorrow, maybe a shower or storm in spots on Sunday, otherwise mainly dry, even warmer. Breezy both days and Sunday's expected high around 85. And you can see these cumulus clouds just fade away to the south. The sunshine moving in from the north and the high temperature today got to 72. Still below normal, but we'll get above that tomorrow. Low is very comfortable. It's going to be similar tomorrow morning as well. So if you take a look at what's going on, it's a warmer weekend. We'll watch for a shower or storm on Sunday and we'll keep the warm air right into all of next week. Uh, right now, 68 at Barron, 70 in Fairview, and from Dave in Springfield, 67 lower in Edinburgh. Uh, down south, you guys, right around 70 or the upper 60s. Rick and Crossingville, 69. Kathy and Sagertown at 67. Very comfortable evening. Great for Friday night football. No problems with the weather. Warren at 68. Kathy in Youngsville at 69. So, two points. Just hanging out in the 50s and upper 40s. And what's going to happen is those dew points are going to increase as we go into the weekend. But tomorrow is still going to be very comfortable because this high, as it rotates the air from the south and west, will bring a slow warm up. And again, you can see how the temperatures increase as you go to the southwest. That's the air that's coming up here. And our temperature change in the last 24 hours, it's all up, up, up. And that's what's going to happen over the weekend. Now, by Sunday and Monday, with that southerly flow, you're going to feel it. It's going to be more air you can wear with that shower or storm chance. But tonight, no problems with the weather. Tomorrow, a few fair weather clouds going in. And uh, then they thicken up a little bit, not mainly on Sunday, not mainly cloudy. But you see what happened there quickly across the screen. Some spots get in a shower or a thunderstorm, but most of the time remains rain-free as we go into those low to mid-80s. And for next week, the extended forecast from the 11th through the 17th is calling for a continued warm weather pattern across our area. Let's spell it out for you. Jet pinpoint for the lakeshore for tonight. Lows near 60. Starlit skies, very pleasant. South of 90 inland, Southern Erie, Crawford, Mercer, Venango, mostly clear, comfortably cool, 49 to 53. Mountains to the east, Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean, mainly clear, maybe some late night fog. You're cool as well, 45 to 50. So a lot of sunshine, a lot of breezes out of the south, and warmer air tomorrow, 77 to 80 degrees. Sunday, we go for the 85 with a chance of a shower or storm, but most of the time rain-free. Showers more likely Sunday night into Monday. Dips a little on Monday. Tuesday, we're back up to 85. I think Wednesday's the day with the best chance for rain. It's fading away on Thursday. Looks dry on Friday, but you can see those highs there uh, right around or above 80 through next week. I guess that would uh, be the last full week of summer, and it looks like it. Check it out 24 hours a day at yourerie.com. Darn near perfect weekend. Good job. Thank you, Tom. Good job to you. Okay. <laughs> you have so much to do with it, right? <laughs> Just kidding. I make Up it Up next, Erie's Comic-Con returns to the base.